Now we are live. Four, three, two, one. Nope, mm -hmm. no countdown, only counting up. Mm -hmm. No countdown. Only counting up. <clears throat> I can only see YouTube. It's because they YouTube lets everybody know we're fixing to go live. Oh, Facebook doesn't. Mm -mm. Hi, everyone. Facebook's instant. Okay, no warning. No warning. Some people said that they got warnings from other people. Mm -hmm. Maybe they set it up themselves. Maybe. But yeah, Facebook don't. Facebook's just boom. Just instant. Just, just instant. like you, Gidget. Just instant. We have a special guest tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Look at here. Gidget. Sir? I don't know why she's so hot. Because if you had this much hair, you'd be hot so. too. I guess so. I guess I would be. You would be, no mm -hmm. doubt. How are you guys on this Sunday evening? I guess it's Sunday everywhere. Mm hmm. Should be. No, it's not. Where? There's some places overseas that it's the next day. You think? I know so. I guess so, because I guess they could be. Yeah. Because somebody said that they love it when they wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning and we're live. That's right. I don't and know that would that be Monday. Yeah. That's true. So, that is true. <clears throat> well, what is going on, everybody? This is your Jason and Brooke over here at Cock Hill Farm. I can't get enough drink. Hmm. I was like that uh, yesterday. Yeah. I even put me a water in the freezer yesterday. Really? Yes. Because I was just... I just couldn't get enough to drink, and I felt like I needed something a little different. Yeah. So I put it in the freezer and got some ice around the edges, and it didn't fix it. You know how when you eat pizza? Yeah, but we hadn't ate any pizza. I know, but that's what I feel like. I've eaten pizza, and I want to just keep drinking. For some reason, when we eat pizza, I guess because it's so salty, um, which is not very often. We, I don't know when the last time we had pizza was. I don't eat. Oh, I do. <laughs> when we went to that place in Birmingham... Yeah. And we stopped at that snazzy even, pizza place. You I remember? can't even the name of it. I don't it know the like name of it. like a gas station, but it was. Um, but we did have something that we don't normally have. What? Today. What's that? McDonald's ice cream cones. We did have a McDonald's ice cream cone. All three of us. Three ice cream cones. <laughs> and it wasn't Gidget. It was Mary Carl. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's, um, that's that, rare. That's just something we don't mm, do. And pizza and ice cream cones from McDonald's. Well, we didn't get pizza, though. No, I'm just saying, oh. don't eat much pizza. I like pizza. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Pizza we might have so to good. try pizza on the Traeger once we... I know. it. I would love to eventually get me a, uh, a pizza oven, but we just kind of don't eat that much pizza, I guess. But the Unless pizza we can tray. make healthy pizza. Mm-hmm. I think so. I think so. I like the... I always say margarita. I don't know if that's how you say it or not. The margarita pizza which is just cheese, basil, and sauce, which I really like it a lot. You know what I'm thinking? What's that? That I can make a very thin pan of cornbread uh -huh. and layer some collards on the top of it. <laughs> and it could be <laughs> a collard and cornbread pizza. <laughs> Boy, uh, that could be a staple, couldn't oh it? Oh, my gracious. Collard and cornbread pizza. I saw mm. your shirt. That's what made me made think you, of it. This one wore out, too. I think our last live you had a collard and cornbread shirt on. The red one? I must have. Yeah, because I remember talking about it. Yeah. Gidget's gone to bed. Good. <laughs> well, maybe not. You said her name. I did, but you said her name. How are your chicks doing? I just left from checking on them. Mm -hmm. If you didn't watch the video, you should have. But Mary Carl and I had to go and get some, well, some buck feed, but buck not feed. for deer bucks. Mm -mm. Matter of fact, when I got up to the counter, mm -hmm. they said, what's the number for Monster Buck? <laughs> and I said, no, I'm talking about Goat Buck feed. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, I guess they were selling a lot of, you I'm know, sure they getting are. deer season yeah. and hunters are buying. I'm sure they are. So I had to clarify that. But mm -hmm. when we walked in the feed store, I didn't see any chicks. Mm. So... I look over to my left because when they said that about the buck feed, I wanted to walk outside and show it to them, make sure I was getting the right thing. Right. So I go down the aisle where the feed is, and I saw a, a brooder set up. It was a GQF, and it was one layer stacked on top of each other. Mm -hmm. And you really couldn't hear 
much of anything, but I knew there was something in it because it wouldn't be set up. We walk over there and the little tag says, Rhode Island Red, 15. And then it said, Barred Rock, 15. Mm -hmm. So we squat down and we look in there and lo and behold, there were 12 Rhode Island Red pullets. I can't believe that. I'm going to be honest with you. And a pullet is a 90% chance it's a female sex chick. Right. And I asked the lady, I said, are they are they pullets? And she said, 90%. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm sure we've That's had. That's what the hatchery tells them. Yeah, I'm, sure. I'm trying to think, though. If you, A pullet is a baby female chick. And um, I'm trying to think if we've ever gotten, I'm sure we have. But usually when you get, when you buy pullets, most of the time, they're all girls. Well, can you think of a time we got? Yeah, I can think of a number of times. Really? Yeah. I just can't remember. I'm not trying to to prove you wrong, but no, I'm not saying that. Do I you just remember, remember? Um. Oh goodness, they were wand dots. They were. Um. This is one that that particularly sticks out to me because we bought pullets. Yeah. They were black and white. Right. Colombian wand dots. Uh huh. And that. That what we thought was a hen, because we bought all pullets, stayed in the goat pen when we were at the old farm forever. So we named her something that had, it wasn't goat, because that was a neck and neck, but mm -hmm. we named her something that pertained to goats, because she always lived in there. She was a he. Mm -hmm. That one sticks out to me. Um, neck and necks. Uh -huh. When we bought those neck and necks that we have now, that goat was a member of. Yeah. And galaxy and all right, that. Right, right, right. There was one rooster in that bunch, but you know what? What? It didn't make it. Huh, interesting. So I would say out of 10 chicks, she's about right. One of them's going to be a rooster. And one of them's going to be a rooster. Get, get out of there. But Mary Carl was, was thrilled to, to think out out that one of them was bigger than the rest of them and looked a little more cockish for uh -huh. term to use. She thought that it may be a cockerel, and um, to be in there. I don't know, but, you know, it's not the end of the world. That's it right. Is. It's not the end of the world. But, um, it's not the end of the world. She they was... were six, which is is a better chance of having bullets yeah. versus straight runs. That's right. Now, we have gotten straight runs before, and them have all been roosters. Yeah, when you buy straight runs, you don't know what you're getting. So, who knows? And they're those... always cheaper. The straight runs are always... A good bit cheaper, but you don't know what you get. That's right. You don't know what you're getting. So, but back to my yeah. chicks. I went out there to check on them. Yeah. And I really couldn't tell. I mean, I've been out there several times today. All right. But I really couldn't tell that they had eaten that much. Uh huh. So I picked up the feeder and I kind of scooted it to one side. And once I did that, I could see that, yeah, they've been eating. They've been eating. And I've already cleaned their pad out one time today. And it hadn't been that long ago. It's filled back up. Well, they so they eating. eating something. <laughs> they definitely eating. And I cleaned their waters out and it was back, you know, had a little little kibble in it. So I see where uh, Debbie asked, is it too late to plant her green stalk for the fall? Depends on where you live. We could still plant ours for the fall. Hmm. Um, so if you're in zone eight or higher, you got you still got time, but and I don't it know depends about... on what she's planning on planting. You're not going to plant an annual in Alabama and it make it. Well, calendulum would. Um, it just depends. But your fall, your fall, your fall stuff. If your fall, your fall gardening stuff. Whatever it's fall flowers like pansies. Yeah, and, I guess you're right. Or um, Snaps. your fall veggies. Yeah, depending on where you live, you still you still got time. Matter of fact, we will um we'll be probably planting our garden. I'm thinking I'm gonna try to get it done next week by next week, well, and then and then we'll wait until near the end of October, and then we'll try to plant the um onions, onions and garlic and carrots. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm game. Whatever we need to do, I'll, right? I'll be your I'll be your partner. That's right. How much were your Rhode Island Reds? Somebody's wanting to know. Um, they were three dollars and fifty cents a piece. Three dollars and fifty cents a piece. Which I mean, if I had not found them at the chick store, uh -huh. or at, well, it's not a chick store, feed store, right? I would have ended up buying, ordering some. That's right. Well, they would have been that price. Plus, that would have had to have a minimum. 
which a lot of times is 25 chicks. Yeah, sometimes it's 20 or 25 chicks, depending on what hatchery you get them from. And then sometimes, if it's the dead of winter, they might include a few roosters to keep them warm. I got to tell you something. So that video came out. Wes from Big Family Small Farm said, you got Angie. Uh-huh. Wanting, wanting, chick. wanting chicks. They went to their feed store, and lo and behold, they had Rhode Island Reds. Are you serious? I swear, and they're in Louisiana. And he said they ended up buying some plants instead. So, <laughs> Well, they're about to move, so that might have been a good idea. It would, it would have been a great idea. And, yeah. and that's, you know, we said in the video, it's been a minute since we've hatched chicks because we didn't want to hatch anything before we moved. Uh -huh. October 4th, we're coming up on right. one year from us being moved over here. Can y'all believe that? Can y'all believe it's been a year? It doesn't feel like a year. I'm starting to see uh, on Facebook, it lets you see your memories. Mm -hmm. And um, like the one today or yesterday was you bush hogging the really? patch, getting it ready for us to start building for the animals, the paddocks. Wow. Yeah. One year ago. That's one crazy. One year ago. That is crazy. Time flies when you're having fun. Denise Smith, it is your birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> um, well, another interesting thing about the, the video that we showed yeah. about the chicks right. was when we were putting the pads in the bottom of the brooder. Mm -hmm. Well, those were some pads that were given to me, and they don't exactly fit. They don't so exactly fit. I went and grabbed a roll of that packing tape that we have right. lots of rolls of right. because we we used to sell hats, and we haven't mm -hmm. been able to hear, to here lately. But I accumulated a lot of tape. Right. Well, people saw me having such a hard time getting started. Did they started. give you some good advice? Well, I brought it with me, and I'm gonna share with y'all what the good advice was. I want to know. Okay. Did it work? Well, yeah. <laughs> oh my so, god! So the Cog Squad. The Cog knows Squad. What's up. Knows I cannot what's up. tell you guys the Cog Squad how many times you have helped us well, with stuff. And we listen to y'all. We do listen yeah. to you. We listen to you so much that Gidget. We make her go down. No, I just don't um, want her on the edge over there. Yeah. Um, we are upstairs in the loft, by the way. We are. Yeah. And Gidget was getting a little close to heaven. <laughs> um, <laughs> so what you guys suggested yeah. is to take my tape roll yeah. and get it. I hope, I hope this was right. Because this is what I did. Well, is it working? They suggested get a bread tie. All right. All right. So I just so happened to have a loaf of bread that needs to go. Right. So you take the bread tie and you put it under your tape and you push it down. And that way you always have a starting point. Look at that. And you know what I'm doing? What? Taking this out there. So when I go to change my chicks pads, you got it. I'll have my tape ready to start. Let me taste. And I'm not going to lose it because I'm going to. Just keep it in my hand. Keep it in what? Well, the tape's going to work. Let me tell you about, and I want to see if I'm the only one when it comes to bread ties. Now, I talked about my socks, how I can put my socks together, and all of a sudden, I'm, I'm one gets missing, and I don't know where it goes. I don't know if there's a, a island over in the Pacific somewhere where all the socks gather and have a big party. But you know what else I can lose? I can fix me a sandwich, y'all. Open up that bread right there. Fix me a sandwich, a peanut butter and honey, because that's what I like, sandwich. And that bread tie is gone. And I'll look everywhere for it. And I'm, and I'm like, I just took this bread tie off. The, do you ever do that? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to, you know, belittle you or anything. Yeah. <laughs> but you can't find anything. Oh, I can't find anything. But the whole bread tie just disappeared and just blows my mind it just like vanishes in thin air i end up just spinning the bread bag you know real tight and then folding it over and sitting it down in there so it jason <laughs> told me last night he said Did, didn't you say that you bought some some good cheese for us to eat on crackers yeah i said i did where is it i said well there's two different kinds in there i bought right. some extra sharp and then some colby jack i believe it uh -huh. was so I think you only found one kind. No, I, I wanted the sharp cheddar. Okay, so you found that one. Yeah, I didn't, I so didn't then want the Colby. I hear you say, what about crackers? Yeah. Do we have any crackers? And I said, yes, we have crackers. We have Ritz and we have club crackers. Mm -hmm. So that's two boxes, right? That's two. 
I knew neither one of them were in the cardboard boxes on the ground in the pantry. Yeah. They were on the bookshelf that we're using as a makeshift pantry. Yeah. Five or six minutes later. I found them though. He found the crackers. I found them. I tell you what else I lose that just disappeared. Your glasses. My glasses. But we can be working on a project. And I'm thinking that my socks and bread ties and my uh, tape measure. Yeah. I can lose, I, y'all, I can lose a tape measure. I, I even, I got where I, I bought like five tape measures. <laughs> and I try to get everything that's fluorescent now. Fluorescent orange, fluorescent green. Um, that way I can try to keep up with it. But a, a, a tape, I lose a tape measure in a second. I noticed that this weekend, the project we were working on. Yeah. It seemed like every time I turned around and looked at you, the tape measure was on your heel. I tried to keep it on I, my heel. I, I, I didn't say anything about it, but I was thinking to myself, <laughs> I'm not going to have to find the tape measure. <laughs> I should have I should have tied it with a bread tie on my You should have. Or sock. Or sock. That would have worked. <laughs> so, uh, hey, eventually with the socks, when you lose a pair and you lose another pair, you got a pair because you done lost. So you can put the two that you well another thing i did over the weekend was i yeah. tried to get all of our things that belonged in the kitchen that are in the garage yeah in a kitchen area right so that way we know that everything that's left needs to be gone through mm-hmm. so upon doing that there's a garbage bag laying in the in the floor right and i picked it up thinking you know i could just add garbage to it things that we didn't want because I was picking up this, that, and the other. Uh-huh. Needed somewhere to put it, uh-huh. right? Garbage? Right, right. I look in it. Do you remember me telling you about that bag of socks that Mama... Yeah! Well, There's that, some pairs in there. Missing that pairs. bag of socks is out in the garage. I need that bag of socks. Yes. I need that bag of socks. Because yeah. I have been collecting the ones that don't have matches since we've been in the house. Yeah. And putting them in our closet. Okay. Yeah, they... uh. They uh they've been on vacay for a long time now. They, have. <laughs> they probably need to go in the washer. They probably do. But it was no garbage in there. It was a bag full of socks. Oh my gracious! I mean, a bag full of one sock. Bag full of one socks. That's where they go. Yeah, that's, that's where, where they, they go. go. They've been going next door to your mama's house. Well, no, this was when she lived at the tiny oh, okay. house. I got you. I just stuck them in there for whatever reason, thinking mm-hmm. when we get our bedroom furniture, we'll put them in there, and that's where they landed. Okay, so this morning, I'm filling up duck pools. Yeah. Well, I take that back. I'm filling up goose pools that are in nuggets. Area. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I had dumped one out, started filling the second one up. I saw this truck going real slow, coming from, you know, a side that people don't normally come from. That's right. And you weren't out yet. You were doing something. I was actually, I was actually, because. Picking up. From, well, no, our new, our new place. We never had this issue at our other place, but our new place has, I call them sugar ants. Yeah. And they're little ants and they don't bite. Thank goodness. And, uh, and if you don't, if you don't, if you don't stay on top of them, next thing you know, they all in your house. And um, so so you I, ride them. I, w- <laughs> I was praying. I was praying, just staying on top of things. Oh, got one. I gotta get rid of. Hang on, y'all. I was staying on uh top of things there, and um, and I was praying, and you you hollered at me. Well, I did. Yeah. I, I had sent you a, a couple of messages, and because I, I didn't know who it was, right? I pulled into the driveway, and about that time. I heard, bro, and I looked over and, and I realized who it was. Jason's granddaddy is on the 12th of October going to be 100 years old. 100 years old. Can y'all believe that? My granddaddy is 99 years old. 10, 12, 22 mm-hmm. was his birthday. And lo and behold, it was granddaddy and his wife, Shirley. And they came over to see us for the, mm-hmm. for the first time. That's um, right. We didn't know they were coming. We never yeah. leave, so it didn't matter. And they could have called. We we got to we got to get our sales service changed. Yeah, yes. our sales service is not working real well. Right. But um, Granddaddy, he doesn't drive anymore mm-hmm. because he has retinal dysplasia. So his wife Shirley and him came over, and I don't know how old Miss Shirley is. 
I she, don't know she's a good Shirley bit younger is. than him, but um, we I don't just know how Shirley is. We love her, and yeah. of course, Granddaddy too. But right, we're happy to see them. So all yeah. of our all of our projects that we had going just stopped. They Everything just, just stopped. Yep. Because Granddaddy came and and still, you wouldn't know he was about to be. 100. You wouldn't have no idea. My Granddaddy was fixed to turn a hundred years old. He doesn't look a hundred. Mm -mm. He doesn't act a hundred. Mm -mm. And I can guarantee you that if his eyesight was still there, he would be driving. Yeah, he probably would. I helped him out to the truck. We had, um, well, I'll get to that in a minute, but I helped him out to the truck because you were busy doing something else. Mm -hmm. And so I'm headed with him to the truck and he said, now I got to get in on the passenger side. They won't let me drive anymore. <laughs> and, he just he just can't see. If his he eyes were see. there, yeah. he would be. Oh my goodness! Now he's uh he's, his garden's getting smaller and smaller. And he smaller. told me he couldn't have a garden anymore. Couldn't have a garden anymore. He said yeah. he just couldn't bend down and get back up all the. Well, up until up until he turned ninety nine, he had one. Yeah. He said, but I told did. him that we would have. Well, we're gonna have plenty for him. That's what I told him. Yeah. I said we're gonna have enough enough leftovers for. For to supply you and Shirley too, so mm. we were happy we're, to have him come. We're happy to have him come. Sure but we was. knew that we had to get finished with feeding and taking care of stuff before lunchtime because our good buddy Roberto, who did all the sheetrock and all the trim and all the painting, what else did they do? The, the flooring. flooring. They did the uh, woodwork. Uh, they did. Oh gosh. Roberto oh. and Heidel. Roberto and Heidel. They're the two best guys we could have ever. What is it? Somebody said their father is 102. Wow. <sighs> that is the two two best guys that we could have hired here besides Brant and mm -hmm. Greg. Mm -hmm. And Roberto came over at 12 o'clock today to look yep. at my pantry because as y'all remember, I told y'all in my last pantry that I had somebody come and look. Right. My pantry is it's nine by it's, five. It's nine. It's basically nine and a half foot long and sixty three inches. Sixty three inches wide. So fifty four square foot. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Fifty four square foot. And I wanted two cabinets in the back. Mm -hmm. And then the rest was gonna be shelves. That's right. So two thirty inch cabinets. Pretty much. Well, I did not realize what I was getting into. You didn't. Um, so, you know, you talked to the cabinet maker that was doing our cabinets and he's so backed up and he's, he's, he's got so much going on and he never even gave us a price, even though he said three or four times he's going to get you one. But that, and, that told me right there that he didn't have time. Right. And so you found another cabinet maker and, and talked to them and super nice. Uh, it was a, a husband. Father and son. Yeah. And super nice people. Super nice guys. Super nice. And um, and they got a surprise and it, it just kind of blew her socks off and was way out of her budget. And we're it like, was. it was man. And so I kept looking at pictures, looking, and I found one that really looked good. And I probably got it on my phone. I can show it. It really looked good. And I said to him, Why don't you look at what you texted him? I am. That's what I was fixing to do right now. Well, we we realized that, you know. We had told the cabinet makers we wanted two cabinets on that bottom, just on the back for a counter so I could put, you know, my my crock pot or whatever on that countertop for storage. Right. And once he gave us a price and it knocked our socks off, we realized that we probably didn't need cabinets. We probably just needed shelves. Yeah. And so I found this one and I really did like it, if you guys can see that. But I kind of like the way that looks. I like the wood color, and I even like the black uh, shelving brackets. Shelving brackets, and it's got like a, a cabinet, but it's not a cabinet it's right an here. Open cabinet. And um, I said, I said to myself, I bet you money that Roberto and Heidel can make this for us. And lo and behold, I sent you a text. I said, Do you care if I send Roberto a text and ask him can him and Heidel do that? And you said, Sure. And I sent it to him. It wasn't, it wasn't 10 minutes. He answered me back and said, yes. And uh, he said, when do you want me to come look? 
and I and I said, uh, when can you? He said, I'll be there tomorrow at 12. <laughs> and he was. He was straight here at up 12. 12 o'clock. And Granddaddy and Shirley were here. Yeah. And um, we, by all means, didn't want to run them off. But I think they had. I think they had finished visiting by that time. Yeah, because they'd been here, you know, a couple, good, of hours. couple of hours. Yeah. And um, so Roberto looked at it and he said, if we get the supplies, they can get started on it as soon as we're ready. That's what he did. Yeah. And we don't want any painted wood. We're just going to do everything stained so yeah. that way. Because we were thinking if with painted wood, even though if you get a really good paint and put a clear on or something, we just think it may, you know, with stuff going in and out of it, like color of a box or it'll just get messed up. So we do that dark stain, the same color as we done stain there plus it's the pantry not, not every you know not like you're gonna yeah i wasn't be a after, showcase or anything and that yeah. was part of it is i wasn't after anything fancy i right. just wanted a nice i mean it's a big space right and i just wanted to take advantage of the size of it mm -hmm. and be able to put everything in there that i need in the pantry versus putting that in kitchen cabinets right we got enough kitchen cabinets too but i don't want food in there if i don't have to right yeah exactly so, I think um, we ordered our brackets already. We did. And they'll be here Wednesday. So, I'm thinking the end of this week, they'll probably be able to get started. And and I'll have a usable pantry versus cardboard boxes. And everything's sitting on the floor. Yeah. Yeah, everything's sitting on the floor, which we've learned to make use out of, you know, the space that we have. And we're not complaining about it. We're happy to have a roof over our head. Mm -hmm. But we do know that, that something has to be done as far as pantry goes for Sheldon. I, I think it's going to look great. I really did. No, hard part was me trying to figure out how high each shelf is and how wide they are and all that kind of good stuff. But I, I got all that figured out today. And so um, it's going to be good. I think you're going to like it. I really do. I think you're well, going to like it a lot. I'm not picky. I just yeah. want something that's functional and um, looks nice and yeah. serves its purpose it doesn't have to be fancy that's simple right. is better that's right i agree and i kind of felt like uh the guys the the father and son that came and looked may mm -hmm. may have thought that i wanted fancy i don't yeah but, but the picture we showed them wasn't too fancy but i, I realized the though, cost of materials and you have to make money i agree so um we just you know we realized it was out of our budget and apologized mm -hmm. to them and said we just um you know, we're gonna get we're we're gonna either do it ourselves or get somebody else to do it. Right. And that's what we did. That's right. How are you liking this was a good one because we we're gonna do an update on this for sure mm -hmm. in a video, but the sand in the coops. Oh yeah. Or in the coop. Well, I've got this um it's coming tomorrow. It's supposed to be here tomorrow. It's a it's a pooper scooper on a stick. Yeah. And, and it's, it's metal. metal. And it's got it's like a cat litter box thing but it's metal and it's got grooves in it mm -hmm. and um so far i'm loving the sand i mean it's 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 absolutely no dust it's no odor it's easy to pick up it's easy it to clean. really is so um yeah we'll do a follow-up video on that and I especially mean, when you get your new scoop you know i, I even i've gone in there a couple of times and and practice scooping. practice yeah i've been practicing scooping. well don't practice do it i was I was scooping but it that's all just up. practicing. And then, and then uh, I put it. I won't. I thought to myself. I said, uh, "Self, I need to get me a, a five gallon bucket. five gallon bucket and sit out there, and I'm gonna paint a picture on it. And it's gonna be my compost bucket. What's the so picture we, gonna be? I don't know yet. A I chicken mean, pooping? It could be that. It could be that. That way you'll know that. Or that... a chicken pooping in the word compost coming out. Okay. How about that's, that? That's a good idea. And then have that. So when we scoop, we can put it in there. And then when it gets, you know, full, then we full can take or it if it the... gets where, you know, it starts getting, I don't think it's going to be bad, but if it, if it gets where it's too bad or whatever, we take it to the compost pile and dump it in. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a good idea. That's what I'm thinking about doing. And uh, I need to do that, too. I, I look down there. As a matter of fact, I looked down there when I thought of it. And I didn't see an empty one laying around anywhere. I'll go get it for you. You get, we got an empty one down there? Yeah. Do we really? We got an empty with a t With a lid? Yeah. Okay, good. We sure do. Good. That's it's just good. like with those crackers in the refrigerator and okay. the, the cheese, you could, you and know, bread ties. and your glasses and we Wallet, got a bucket. We got a bucket. Cell phone. But Mary Carl's the same way. <laughs> She's the same exact way. Oh man. And I'm not 
saying that I can find everything I need because there are times when I misplace things too, but these two have the same genes and <laughs> it can be aggravating for the one in the middle. Yeah, you know, pizza thirst. Yeah. yeah. You know where that is though, don't you? I do know where that is. It's right there. <laughs> I think I see it. So what else did, did we, um, we did, um, we finished up, was it yesterday or day before yesterday? My days run together sometimes. We finished up the worming. Oh, yeah. We did finish up the worming. Finish up the worming. So now. The goat worming. The goat worming. Or deworming. Yeah. We found we out go. we're not the only. There's other people that say, uh, we, I got to worm my animals too. But so. they said they realized, you know, what we're talking about. Right. So. That's Even right. though we say we got to worm our goats, we, yep. you, you know we're taking the worms away. We That's were, right. We wouldn't be giving them any worms. We're not giving them any worms. And I thought um, Wednesday, mm -hmm. no, no, I'm all wrong. I thought when I go to take my car to get my windshield right. replaced. You're going to drop a sample off? Well, I was going to go over this. Okay, so I said in the last live yeah. that my windshield has a crack in it. Yeah. And that it looks like a hurricane path because right. it started to go all which away. Yeah. Well, my insurance company will, will cover it, but I have a small deductible. Mm -hmm. So they said they could send safe light to my house right. to fix it. Right. Well, I thought, well, that's the best thing I ever heard of. So we had it all set up and they were going to come to the house to fix the windshield here. So I didn't even have to leave. They were going to come fix it here. Mm -hmm. Well, lo and behold, they called me after I had it scheduled for like two weeks and said that they could not fix the windshield at my house because it has to be calibrated. Yeah. So I have to take it to the dealership mm -hmm. to get it calibrated. That's right. And a lot of y'all reached out to me and said, they'll come to your house and fix your windshield. Well, I tried. We tried. I tried, but they said that they could not do it at my house because I have sensors that That's have right. to be done at the dealership. So that busted my bubble. Right. But I also thought since I have to go that direction, which is where Dr. D works his daily job, that I could take a little sandwich bag mm -hmm. full of um, Fifi. 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 Because she was the first one. She got done several days ahead of the other ones. Right. Yeah. Because I had noticed that she had some clumpy poop. Right. Gigi's back. <laughs> And so we had her her fecal tested right. to determine that she had parasites. And we'd been using the wrong wormer to deworm our herd. So I'm thinking when I go to get my windshield fixed, I'll get me a sandwich bag. And you can draw a picture of a goat with some poop coming out of okay. it. So nobody eats it so thinking it's raisins or anything raisin like it. that. Yeah. yeah. And I can drop it off with Dr. D. Okay. And he can do the fecal on it to to determine that Fifi, if Fifi's parasite free, then we know the rest of the herd will right. be as well. Right. And that's what we're aiming for. So I'm thinking I can do that when I take my car to get my windshield fixed. On the last bout or last go around, I've checked several of them's eyes. Boy, they were red. Really? Mm -hmm. well, so I think we're good. Dr. D doesn't like to go by that. I know. I know. That's the FAMACHA score. Yep. But um, he said, you know, you can look at that, but don't always go that route. Right. You know, right. there there are times when you need to have a fecal done, and that's what he chooses to do with our herd is to have them tested. Well, if you look and it's real light pink or white, you you know you got a problem. You got a problem. So you just you know. That's right. So we don't plan on doing ours every six months. We plan on having Doctor D come out and check, you know, ch check one or two of them and, yeah. and see how they're looking. And I'm um, going from there. And I guess he'll tell us how many, you know, if we need to do it quarterly. Well, that's what he said is he wants to do a fecal versus okay. doing it on a schedule. Oh, okay. He wants okay. to come and, and take some raisinets and put them under the microscope. Okay. And, okay. And see for himself versus okay. being on a schedule. I thought, I thought, I thought it may get on a schedule, but no. we don't want to do a schedule. No, he doesn't want to do that. Okay. Now there's some places where he might want to do that, but he didn't want to do that with ours. And I think it's because he's, he's real nearby. Yeah. So, you know, he's going to be here for other things yeah. that need to be done. Um, we do plan on getting him to trim Moody's hooves and, you know, everybody right. needs a little 
maintenance every now and then. Right. So. Yeah, we we need to. Um, I'm still, I'm thinking that I'm gonna put two poles in the ground for Moody. That's what I'm thinking. Hmm. Okay. Um, we might need to get put put two poles in the ground for Gidget too. Yeah. She's a. Yeah. Can you likes, imagine that? She likes to scoop. Yeah. And if y'all didn't yeah. watch the video, it's worth watching where we got the um, chicks to see this one playing in the water. <laughs> what are you eating? That dog, uh, she attacks water. I don't know what it is. Um, and I know there's other dogs. I've, we used to have one when moose. I was a kid. When, when moose, yeah, moose would go after moose the water, too. Mm -hmm. I remember being a kid, and my friend down the road, they had a Boston Terrier. And if you took a tree limb and shook it, that thing would go nuts and try to grab it up. And that just kind of reminded me of Gidget. would probably too. do that, too. We she just might. never tried a tree limb. We never tried a tree limb. But I remember being a kid shaking that tree limb. Or I didn't. He did. He would shake it. And that Boston Terrier would just get all crazy and, um, you know, try to try to get that tree limb. You wouldn't do that, though, would you? She wouldn't do that. <laughs> She's a calm girl. <laughs> Uh, she's calm now. So our video hey. should be back on a normal schedule now. We should have one out in the morning. It should. And it's gonna be a good one. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna give y'all an update on what's going on what's inside. What's going on inside? Um yeah, a lot a lot has happened in the last week on the inside of we've the been, of the house of the Barnuminium. We've been busy bees yeah. and inside and outside. Inside and outside. So Mondays will be about the inside. Yeah. Wednesdays will be about the outside, we believe. Yeah, should be about the outside. So so we inside, outside, we inside, are, out. We are we yeah. are busy. And I slept well last night. I guess it's because we've been so busy. I guess so. <laughs> We're always busy, but yeah, we, maybe it seems like we've been more busier than usual, more right? More busier. Yeah. 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 Gidget. Oh my goodness. Don't do that, baby. So, an update on our railing is um, we're having it welded. And, goodness, I don't even remember when it was. June the 1st, I want We don't say. got a good feeling about the handrail. We're just going to be honest. I don't have a good feeling about it. Um, I kind of think I might be. We, we think we may have got had on the handrail. Uh, it's been a good little, good little minute. And, um... I'm just gonna look at the date so I can so I can we knew that he was backed up. He said he was backed up, gave us a date. Six weeks from Gidget. Six weeks from when he came and measured was what was happening. Mm -hmm. And I respect that he told me six weeks. Um I've been hanging out for six weeks. July the twenty sixth. July the 26th. Should have been six weeks from July the 26th. Yep. Let me see where that is. Well, let's see. August, July to June. It should have been September the 6th. Okay. Should have been September the 6th. Okay, here we are. By this next week, it'll be October 6th. So we're four weeks behind. Yeah. But that's not what's got me off. What's got me off is... I can't see any messages that I've ever sent him before. Mm -hmm. um, I think I've been blocked. Yeah, so we're a little concerned about the um, about about the handrail. What? But <laughs> our original plan was to get Roberto and Heidel to make us a handrail. Was the original plan. Then we said, well, let's, you you like the look of the welded one, and so you found somebody that would weld it. And then one of the first things Roberto said when he came in here is, "Where's the handrail? Where's the handrail? Do you, do you need us to do the handrail?" <laughs> We're like, "Well, maybe, <laughs> maybe so." And I've just, did. I've reached out to the guy several times, yeah. And I've been give given the runaround. Mm -hmm. However, one time I gave an update, and he told me that he was just finishing up his last job, and he was about to start on ours. Right. But y'all, that was that was four weeks ago. Yeah, and it's not going to take four weeks to do what we have done. Now, I, I like I said, I realize people are behind. Yeah. All right. So I reached out to him again this past week, and he said, "I apologize for the delay. I got your message. I will call you this afternoon to discuss the install." 
This was this past Tuesday. I never heard. Right. I have never had a phone call. I've never, um, he's never tried to contact me. I have several ways that he contacts me. And I think I've been had. Gidget. Now he does have a, a, re a realistic company. Yeah. Um, because we have a, a mutual friend that knows him and said that he thought that he would follow through with it. But um, I, I, I think, I think it's not going good. It's and yes, good. I did give him a deposit because you have to. Yeah. When people are building things for you that require materials, you're expected to pay a down payment. And he has a, a, a real company mm -hmm. that I could see real reviews. And actually, like I said, was mutual friends with him. So I had no, when I hired him, I had no regrets that he would Right, do because this. it was the welder friend of ours or, you know, that recommended him. Yeah, recommended so. him. And and maybe this isn't the case. Maybe it's not the case. Maybe it's not the case, but I have a bad gut yeah. feeling. Yeah. I have a bad feeling. I, I told myself, I said, self, come Monday morning. I'm going to reach out to him. I'm going to tell him October 10th, I, you know, please, it needs to be installed. Um, and or, if it, or give us our money or back. Or give us our money back. Yeah. And that way, you know. He'll know. He'll know. Right. He'll know. Um, go buy his business. No, that's not a possibility because he works out of a, he, he has like a mobile. Yeah. Um, a lot of these welders have like a, you know, a, like mobile, a mobile fabricating mm -hmm. shop and, um, while he may have a shop, it's it's at his home. So um, we'll see. I hope not. We'll see. I really do hope not because I feel like I have such trust in people. I tell you though, with get you getting close to the edge over there, I'm kind of starting leaning towards our original um, handrail. And that's so she can get through it. No, this oh. one's just a regular I handrail. Thought you were being I'm talking ugly. about the cattle panel style. <laughs> I thought you meant so she would no, jump. No, uh, to keep her from, I don't think they'll jump, but anyways, you still be worried with just a regular. Well, it's, she it's um, are the welder and the cabinet guy brothers? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I must say that I did. <laughs> Know that the cabinet guy was eventually gonna, gonna come push me off, gonna come through with what, yeah, he was gonna do. We I just did. didn't know when, right? And it was getting a little old with excuses. <laughs> but this guy hasn't done anything he said he was gonna do, yeah. So, anyways, we'll but, see. I mean, we'll see. I just, I, I, I feel like I. I never had a doubt in my mind when I hired him. I mean, yeah. he had stickers all over his truck. That's the name of the business. And I I had a reference and I could see, you know, reviews. I don't know. Who I don't knows? know. Who knows? I just uh, have a bad feeling. And maybe I could get Gidget on him. <laughs> if she'll do what she did with the water hose, imagine what she'd do with the... Somebody trying to come in this house. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> she wouldn't do nothing. Well, y'all just. She would alert everybody, though. I just hope that that's not the case. I hope I have a stair railing that I paid for. And well, may maybe he'll come in there next week. Maybe he'll come in there. Or maybe this week. Maybe he's planning on maybe coming tomorrow. Maybe he'll come this week. Who knows? I just don't have a good feeling. Who about. knows? All right. You want to take some questions? We'll take some questions here. Jason says I have to quit talking early because he has to finish editing. I got to finish editing, editing the video for tomorrow. So I've got um, I've got some glasses. Look at there. And Can they, you see? Yes, but I look like a alien, don't I? <laughs> Let's put it <laughs> under my hair. So okay. So I think these are too powerful. Are they? Or either they're meant to do like that. You have to get real close. I can't see these. Hmm. Maybe right. he got sick. Y'all, he didn't get sick. He answered me. That's right. He would he would have he would have let you know. You know, they, Yeah, Roberto he, can do the handrail. Yeah, Roberto can do the handrail. It was it he can't weld one, but it was one it's the ones that made out of the the cattle panels. The cattle panel style. No, that's not what we're getting the welder to make. No, 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 no. That's what we had thought about getting uh Roberto to make for us. And um 
So, but then we changed our mind and went with the welded style handrail. Well, because it was, it was just what we wanted. And we found some, see, I mean, all my messages to him are gone. I don't know how he deleted them. I don't think he can. I don't know. I don't know. Can How's you the just, hosta plant doing? Man, that hosta's doing awesome. That hosta's doing awesome. Y'all may have thought that um, it wasn't going to make it because when we initially put it out there, my mama had kind of neglected it because it had been at her house, mm -hmm. the tiny house. That's right. And it was no fault of her own, but we left it over there for her to tend to and it just had seen its better days but it looks awesome now yeah it look, even the creeping genie starting to come out it's looking good but sad is sad thing is is it's gonna die back here mm -hmm. in the next couple of months but it'll come back next spring and it will perfect. it will if we can it wait really that will. long um how how old is a chicken before we can put you can put a band on its leg well I don't like bands. We don't like bands. I know you see some with bands on ours. Those are some Mary Carl had put on there. And um probably just need to take them off. Reason why, well, what age? What age you think? They need to be fully grown. Yeah, they I need mean, to be fully grown. Their leg needs to be full Six, grown. eight months old, yeah. probably. Yeah. Yeah, it, somewhere around in there. Um, But if you do it, make sure you get the ones that are really loose. That snap together rather than go over their little foot. Yeah. Um, Mary Carl brought two baby pigeons out the other day and she said, Mama, can you help me? And I mm -hmm. said, Yeah. I said, What what do you want? What what do you want me to do? She said, just hold this bird. And I said, Okay. So it was baby pigeons. Now pigeons are totally different than chickens. Right. So don't get confused here. So I hold one of them. She gets its little leg because she orders these bands from the pigeon association that are metal. Right. Well, if pigeons don't get a band put on them when they're bitty babies, like before, like before two weeks old, probably before that, I don't mm -hmm. know the age, but then you can't get it on I because that's the way the band because it slips over. And you're so she said, most people get a toothpick and do this. They bring that back toe back so you can slip the band over. Uh -huh. But since I don't ever have toothpicks out here uh -huh. in the pigeon area, I just use a feather. So she rips a feather out that was about this long, uh -huh. probably came off of, you know, a turkey or something. Uh -huh. And she pushes that toe back uh -huh. and she slips the ring over it and voila. Huh. But it has to be done at that age or else you can't get it off. That's a pigeon. That's a pigeon. Chick chickens are, you need to be older. Our reason why we don't like bands is, and it's, when we will know from experience is, you know, we put them on a long time ago um, when we were new chicken owners and even if you put it on loose, there is an occasion that it could get turned sideways or something. And the next thing you know, it's done rub the chicken raw or it gets infected. Or they weren't finished growing and their leg yeah. gets bigger and it grows into so that. So you have band. to. So that's the reason why we just we, we just stay away from bands pretty much. Um, like I said, we do have some that do have bands on there. But that was when we were moving. Mary Carl didn't want us to you know make sure these certain chickens and all that kind of good stuff so for for the most part um she put bands on them because she thought it was cute thought it was cute now we did talk about i don't know if this part was in the video or not putting bands on the rhode island red chicks out there mm -hmm. so we would know who was who so we name who's who yeah one two three but you wouldn't do that until there's, yeah. there's no reason really to ban them unless you had 12 of the same breed and you wanted to keep track of who was who and who Just, was vaccinated. And, it, and you, can, you can pay attention to it. I mean, if you're but if you're a new chicken owner, I would kind of watch it just a little bit. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Why do pigeons get banned? Um, because they will have numbers on them. And sh those bands are registered with, say, NPA is what one that she says, National Pigeon Association. Association. And those bands come numbered. And so they're registered to you. So if you see a pigeon mm -hmm. and it's loose, lost, whatever, and it has a band on, yeah. you get the letters off of it. One of them's AU, which I don't know what that stands for. Oh, and one of them's NPA. NPA. Mm -hmm. But you can go to that website and it'll tell you the owner. Yep. And get how to get the bird back to the owner. So that's why the pigeons are banded. So she bans all of hers. Uh, a gentleman asked about our goat feed. We use, 
and I don't know where you live, but we use Tucker Milling for our goat feed, and it's a company in Alabama. Now, they do service the southeast, but it's a small window, so I don't know exactly where all they go, um, but they do have, I think it's three different types of goat feed. They got a dairy goat feed. They got a just a everyday goat feed, which is the, the, the they call it a grower, and then they have the buck feed. And um, so that's what we use. And the uh, reason why we use the buck feed, and I guess you've heard me mention that probably sound like a broken record, but it's because of the, the ammonia chloride that's in the buck feed. And um, but all the most all your goat feeds have it, but the buck feed, I think, has got a little bit more in it. And all that does is prevent the calcium buildup. And I call them kidney stones. They're called, what are they called? Urinary calcalusa or calcification it's a it's a technical name for it i just um, call them kidney stones and the books are more prone to it because their urinary tract is curved as a female goat is straight so so they all typically are prone to getting them but they don't bother the females hardly any because it'll just come on out but on the boys it gets caught in that curve. In the urethra. Yeah. And so that's why, and that can be a bad situation because they can't go to the bathroom. We actually lost one of our favorite goats of all time many years ago. And um, there it is. Cal, I still can't even see it. Say it and I see it on there. But anyways, yeah, that's um that's why we use the buck feed. But you can buy that. It's usually in your minerals. You can buy ammonium chloride at extra yeah. and add it to your feed yourself or if you have bucks and some people were saying in the comments, well, why does that weather this in with the, the girls? Why does he not get the buck feed? Well, because it, it would be too difficult to, to give him feed separately. And it would be, it would break his heart if we let him know he's a boy. And he's technically not a buck either, but the, 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 all the feeds got it in there, but he this still is... has the makeup of a buck. So yeah. he really, in, in, the bottom line is anything that was once a man, yeah, goat needs the still needs the ammonium chloride. Right. And like I said, all our goat feeds got it in it, and then the goat minerals has got it in it. And then there's some other stuff that this book feeds got that's more specific for breeding books. Yeah, so so we don't use yeah. it for tip and the girls because of that reason. Right. Calculi. Calculi. Thanks, Holly. So I, I need I need some help like that sometimes. Yes, you do. <laughs> now she can tell you where your <laughs> other sock is, or oh, your crackers, or your red tie, or your glasses are on your face, though. I know it. Oh, me! Somebody's asking about the barn. Are we designing the barn? We're um, the barn is on the back burner because we need to get our driveway done. Yes. First. But once the driveway gets in place, I think I think we'll be caught up. What's that noise? Oh, I, th I think we'll be caught up enough where we can start working on maybe where the working on the barn. How about that? Maybe. I think so. We're going to get all our fires put out first yeah. and make sure everything's. I need a railing. Need a railing. The more I think about it, the more I just. Need a railing because it's still scary. I mean, I, one of us could accidentally slip just by oh, accident. No. Yeah. Well, I only come up here when we do the live. Yeah, I come up here several times a day. Well, I need to put a mattress down there then. <laughs> like, get, get me. I could put some pillows on me. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. <laughs> put some on Gidget and Arlo too. That's Arlo right. especially because he comes up here and lays on this sofa. He does. I guess he tries to get away from Gidget. Yeah. Have we sold the tiny house yet? No, we, we have really not sold even, the tiny house. Really hadn't pushed hard to try to sell it yet. You do got um, it listed on. I put it on Facebook Marketplace, mm -hmm. but um, that's about it. I yeah. just, I need to get on it. Right. I need to get on it. It needs to go before we can do our driveway for right. sure. Right, right. I like how you're reading the questions. You like that? Somebody said put a fire pole up. That would be awesome. <laughs> oh, no, it wouldn't. <laughs> it would be awesome, but oh man. I don't want to use it. <laughs> uh, 
Yes, somebody said, he said, don't be Lester and get hurt. Oh, my boy, Lester. Oh, man. How's Lester doing? He's, he's doing good. He's doing good. Yep. Don't get hurt like Lester. <laughs> oh, me. Uh, we mentioned the baby chicks are doing good. They're yeah, all doing good. We talked about that earlier. Mm-hmm. They're all doing good. Old aunts and Jason. <laughs> oh, me. I'm very happy to have found those chicks. I just, you know, I feel like with them being ready in March mm-hmm. to start laying, I mean, it, it's just perfect. Yeah. Because if we didn't get them until, say, spring, we'd be looking at the end of summer before they were laying. Before they're laying good. You're so right. So if you don't live in a climate where it's extremely cold, yep. getting chicks in the fall is ideal. Right. Because when they start laying is when it warms up. And that's when you want them to be outside. Right. Pecking around. and Kitchen door soon. Well, hopefully. Friday was two weeks. Friday was two weeks. And he told us it would be about two weeks. So we're we're... We should be getting there pretty soon on the kitchen doors. We said should. Should. <laughs> should. We should. Maybe the kitchen doors and the handrail will show up on the same day. Well, since they're brothers, brothers. <laughs> they can just ride together, right? <laughs> That's right. They can. Yeah, they're oh, not really we, brothers. They're not brothers. Well, we, we don't, don't think, think they so. are. Yeah. Maybe they are. Who knows? They have two different last names. Oh. They don't mean nothing. They could be stepbrothers or... Well, I do have my my receipt where I pay the deposit. Okay. But I don't know if that means anything. Countertops. Somebody said countertops. Well, you have to wait to tomorrow's video. Yeah. (laughs) So, y'all look for for that. Countertops and outdoor farm sink and a whole bunch of goodness tomorrow. Somebody said I look exhausted. (laughs) <laughs> well, I must confess, I have had a headache for two days now. You have had a headache. And I haven't had a headache in a long time. In a while. So, I'm kind of feeling like it might be everything happening at one time. Mm-hmm. Seems like, you know, this past week. So, I just need a... I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what I need. Uh, somebody asked about our next meet and greet. That will be in October. Florida. October 28th, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's right. Um, yeah. Milton, is no, Milton? 29th. Milton, Florida. Yep, 29th. You go to our website, and we got an event button um, up there. If you click it, it'll show you the, uh, the events. I think that's our last one for the year. And um, so, yeah, so check that out. And it's just going to be a quick visit for us. Mm hmm. Um, When's your next video coming out? Probably Tuesday. Well, I had plans. Yeah, we got really busy. We did, and we and really I, did. I it's had this nagging headache, and I just I just hadn't felt like it. So, hopefully, Milton is in Florida, North Florida. It's not, but two and a half hours or so. It's from close us. to Pensacola. Yeah, it's close to Pensacola. And Milton wasn't affected from by the hurricane, right? Um, I don't think anybody in North. In the, the panhandle, panhandle area was affected by the hurricane at all. West, yeah. I, don't think I mean, so either. we still have no rain in our 10 day forecast. No, it hasn't rained here in four weeks, five weeks, four weeks. It's, it's been, been a minute. while. It's been a while since we've had rain. I've having, matter of fact, this is the driest it's been in a while, even though, you know, we had that one period of went, what, 12 weeks early yeah, on? Yeah, something like that. Um, it seems drier now than it did then. Uh, I know I can really tell the fruit trees. Um, I'm watering them once a week, but they look like they need water again today. Yeah, they do. Yeah. I was, and when you drive down our driveway, which oh, gosh. we don't really have a driveway. Yeah. It's kind of like a, a, a dirt path right it now. Is just, it is going everywhere. Yeah. Mary Cross Swing. On. It is. <laughs> matter of fact, she fell off her swing today. <laughs> Bless her heart. Um. She she had one of her baby pigeons outside yeah. over at the tiny house. And we have those two wire spools over there where she stands on the wire spool and she gets on the just the regular swing mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and she, she swings on it. Well, somehow she was sitting on the swing and she fell off backwards. Yeah. And she wasn't even swinging, but she hurt her tailbone and she's okay. She's she's 
She called the orange ambulance to come get her. That's what I said. <laughs> That's what you said. She um, sent me yep. a message and said, Mama, can you come here? I'm hurt. And I said, I was on it. You know, I didn't even have, have to think about it. I went over there and she was not sitting on the ground when I got over there. I think she's fine. I think her tailbone's a little bruised. Yeah. But um, yeah, she's okay though. No, she yeah. she's up and walking, and mm -hmm. she's she's fine. We went and matter of fact, I saw her riding in the back of the truck. Y'all were riding to the barn. Yeah, she um she helped me load up some boxes mm -hmm. and do some different things. So she's fine, but she still swings. She still swings. She still swings. She might not for a minute, but right. <laughs> she yeah. still swings. Yep. But she's okay. Maybe we could get her a swing up here. We can get her a swing off. No, 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. Goodness. Gidget even said no. Gidget even said no. Oh, my gracious. Well, we're about timed out according to what you said we couldn't exceed. Yeah, because I got to get on it. You got to get on it. I got to get on. I don't want to be up all night. And I don't either because I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm tired too. <laughs> well, I'm not really that tired. I'm just, my, my my head's hurt. Yep. So. Chestnut Hills on here. Hey, Zoe. Hey, Zoe. No. It hey, could be. It could be Nick. Could be Nick. Hey, Zoe. Hey, Nick. That's right. Could be. You know what? I need to make them moderators. I'll do that if Zoe and Nick don't mind. Somebody said you never answer these questions. Yes, we do. We're answering a lot of them. Y'all just don't see. We're on one, two, three. We're on three YouTube channels. We're on Twitter and we're on Facebook all at the same time. So you you guys can't see the comments. So that's five places we're live streaming right now. There's no way we can so possibly answer everybody. It is. It is. And please it, don't it think we're ignoring you. It changes every half a second. There's, Just um, boom, boom, boom. And boom. we only have one person reading them because yeah. my glasses didn't do me. Very and there's, well I wonder how many comments come up at one time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen. It's either fifteen or twenty, and it changes every every two seconds. every. Oh, it was quicker than that. Every second or half second, those twenty and another twenty come up, and those twenty are coming. So you got to be fast. You do have to yeah. be fast. It's crazy. So, um. I mean, try again next time. It's yeah. not that somebody's trying to tell me how to feel better. Please go on. No, 600 milligrams therapeutic ibuprofen. Okay. Yep. It is just fast. I'm going to be better. I'm going to feel better. It usually That's right. lasts a few days, and tomorrow's day three, so I'm bound to be better. That's right. Well, guys, we will catch you on another one. And as always, y'all be good.